Course, this is Kathy with Ken and Kate Special Creations coming to you with my West Virginia Wednesday. Change it from one o'clock today to seven because the days are just so nice outside. We have a lot of yard work, we have jobs, we have naps, we have whatever that we need to do during the day. So I thought, well, I'm gonna transfer mine up to seven o'clock at night. Uh, it'll still be on Wednesdays, still be called West Virginia Wednesday. Hello. Hey, Tim. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and then we can uh, just keep on going the way it is. It'll just be at 7 o'clock instead of 1 o'clock in the day. So I'm just going to hang around trying to get me in and waiting for a few other people to come in. Mandy's supposed to be here. And uh, let me refresh me. So today we're going to talk about some something that everybody has had. Um, hello, whoever you just come in. We um, going to talk about what everybody either goes to or has, and that's parties. This idea came to me kind of late. I had the craft already done up because we're planning to have a baby shower this weekend, but I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about, so I thought about it. And after this, actual, this afternoon, I said, well, why don't we discuss, hey, Janet, how are you? How's Florida? Why don't we discuss the different type of parties, the things you have to have for parties and everything? Since I'm having to get ready for the baby shower, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to um, do that. And I'm in here. I get to see the comments. So if anybody wants to leave one. Hey, Janet. Hey, Mandy. Got Janet Sue. Got Janet K. Got Tim. Mandy. Linda K. Linda K. So that's what we're going to discuss today. It's just different type of parties. And what it takes to put on a party. We just had an Easter uh, get together a couple weeks ago, and Easter's relatively easy. It's a relatively easy party to put off uh, because your decorations are mostly already taken care of you because it's Easter. You can either do a religious or you can do a mixture or you can do Peter Rabbit, whatever you wanted to do. I did a kind of a mixture of both of them, and, and the um, Facebook Live and the Tutorials are already up. So I just wanted to come on this evening and discuss different types of parties and different things of getting ready for a party and that, that in To really help me make sure that I have me Mandy Christy are the ones that's putting this on one of the three of us hasn't missed something along the line so for this to start with um what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through what I what came to my mind as the first part of doing a, you have to come up with an idea. Is it somebody's birthday? Is it a baby shower like we're having? Is it a uh, graduation party? This is getting close to the time where everybody's graduating either from college or from high school. So you might be going to give that special uh, graduate a party. We did that. We did that forever. We did that for Shayla and Savannah. So that was pretty cool. Or it could be an anniversary. Me and Tim in a couple years are going to be celebrating 50 years. Janet Kay and Dean will be 50 years this year. So, you know, somebody might decide, you know, that they want to give us a, a 50th anniversary party. We did that one year for my mother and father-in-law. They got to celebrate their 50th. So that was pretty cool. So the first thing you got to do is decide what type of party you want to have. Then, once you've got that out of the way, you know, you could be doing your first birthday party for your child. You could be doing a 100th anniversary party for your mother or father. It's just whatever the occasion is, you have to decide what you want to do. You want to decide where you want to have this party. Do you want to rent a big place to have it? Do you want to rent a small place? Or do you want to have it in the intimacy of your home? Uh, we're going to do Shayla's birthday party right here at my house so that we where it's close it's little everybody's seen it all over that's 
why I did the 23 and 23 challenge was to get it cleaned up and, and ready for people to come and see me. Just come in, sit down, and have a cup of coffee with me. I'm happy with that. It doesn't have to be a party. If you're in the area, sit down, we'll have a cup of coffee. But th that's, you just have to decide where you want your party. Some people like to not have to clean up their house and have the, the location somewhere else, which is great. Um, you, you go, there's a place up here in town uh, at the old junior high school where they rent you out spaces where you can have a party. My sister rents the shelter over at Beckwith for a Memorial Day party. <laughs> it's there everywhere, and they range in a multitude of prices. I think unless it's changed over here, the school or it's community center now has it for like $25 an hour, minimum of two hours. You have to have your party. So basically they get $50 out of it. You set it up, you clean it up, you know, all that stuff. Um, I think the, I'm Janet would have to correct me on this, but I think she gets a shelter over at Beckwith for around that same price. So it's, a good thing because if you expect a lot of people you don't necessarily want a lot of people in your house so having a bigger place to accommodate all those people and if you don't have a big enough yard and it's not a pretty day you want some place that's outside of your house in order to have it. so hey christy hey stevie yeah i know he got him a new job i heard that so Hey, well, hey, Florida family. So, uh, <laughs> then you want to pick a theme. If you're doing a birthday party, you might be doing a birthday party for a child that wants to have Superman or Coco Melon. Cru Cruising was over a couple weekends ago, and that's all Great Grandma watched was Coco Melon. And Coco Melon. But he enjoyed it. He knew exactly which episode he wanted to watch. He had sat down and he was just as good as he could be watching that that little fella just sing song after song after song. So he enjoyed it. I figure that would be something good for him. Um, so if you, you just you pick your theme to your party. And in the same line of picking the theme to the party you're going to have to come up with some colors. So once you, I'd suggest strongly picking the theme first because then the colors go along with what the theme is. If you're doing a mermaid party, you know it's those pale blues and pinks and purples would go wonderful with a mermaid. The only reason I know that, guys, is because me and me have been working on some mermaid uh, stuff. Okay. Maybe that was with tax and all. Maybe it was $60 plus tax, Chris. I couldn't remember what Janet told me. So, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to decide on who you want to come. Is it just going to be open generally? You know, just spread the word, tell everybody to come and bring a dish. Um, that's the way a lot of family reunions are done. If you know somebody that's in the family, just invite them in. Tell them, say, hey, bring a dish with you. We'll set it up every day we eat. We'll play games and whatever. Then you, with the guest list, you have to decide, are you going to do it word of mouth? Are you going to call them on the phone? Are you going to send paper invitations? If it's a grad party, it's probably a good idea to at least send, like, grandparents and stuff, the uh, graduation picture with a little invite saying, hey, we're having a grad party. You know, hey, come visit us. Um, or, as we do these days, um, or I should say the girls, Christy and, and uh, Mandy, they do online invitations. So, that's all well and good and wonderful to people that are on the sites where the online invitations are or check their phone and that kind of stuff all the time. But if, if somebody like me, even though I'm on Facebook all the time, I try to keep up with those notifications, and sometimes it still falls short. I'll see that what somebody's having a birthday party for their little girl two or three days after the birthday party's gone. I was like, oh, man, I missed it again. So in that instances, I would prefer to have somebody send me a text message 
or a phone call to say, hey, you know, I would really like to see you come to, to such and such's party because that would at least let me say, okay, let me get up right now, go to my calendar and put this on my calendar that this birthday party is happening this day at this time. Because I'm not real good at pulling it off of uh, site, but it works wonderful for a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people do that. So I'm not saying anything about don't do it because I think it's a wonderful idea. I'm the one that needs to get in with the new generation of stuff so that I can keep up with it better. So, let me get in here and see if there's anything I haven't answered. Mandy, I hope you're helping me keep it. Hey, Jewel, I didn't even see you come in. Hey, Andy. This thing goes so fast on me that I have to scroll back up to see um, boy, I've got a good crowd in today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, the next thing, if you're going to have a birthday party or a baby shower, Chrissy's in charge of this, is games. We set up games at Chrissy's party she was talking about over to that picnic shelter. We played bingo and everybody had a wonderful time just playing bingo over and over and over. That was fun. Uh, we had um, the horseshoes. We had that little toss game that you, you play. And competition in that is unreal. People are so good at that. I throw it and it like, scoots across all the way down or hit somebody. And definitely don't have me throw no horseshoes because you'll wear them. They'll be your shoes. But Chrissy's going to have some, some games in mind for the baby shower this weekend. So she's taking care of all that. In addition to decorating our cake. She's got a beautiful cake in mind, y'all. Y'all will love it. We'll take a picture of it. That's what we're going to do next Facebook Live. Is all the decorations and all the food and all the everything that we've done for Shayla's birthday party. Will then be showcased on our next Facebook Live. So that you can see not only the getting ready but the actual decorations and food and everything uh, that we had for Shayla's. Speaking of food, that's the next thing in line. Do you want finger food? Do you want spaghetti? Do you want potluck? Do you want what, you know, hot dogs and hamburgers? So you decide what food that you want. And if somebody asks you, do you need any help? Do you want me to bring anything? If you got it all, tell them, say, no, I'm good. But if you need a bottle of pop or soda, whatever it's called these days, then tell them, say, can you bring a, a bottle of Dr. Pepper or something? So it, it makes them feel better and it helps you out a little bit. So that would be good. And then the, the last two things I've got is something that I never do uh, per se, but I think it's a good idea to get into a tradition, is to have yourself a setup crew. For the decorations, for helping with the cake, for helping set up the food, for playing the games. Somebody that can help you because as the mother of a person with a birthday party, you'll say, oh no, I've got this, I could do it. You will find out quick. If you end up with, say, five extra people than what you had planned on, everything's going to go out the window. So have yourself a, a backup plan of somebody that can help you Keep all that stuff going and motivated and keep going. And lastly, cleanup crew. You don't need to have everybody that come to the party to stay behind and help you clean. But if a couple people offer to stay and help, let them. It would be immensely helpful to you to get at the end of that party a clean kitchen that you can go and sit down in your living room and have you a cup of coffee. So I think those are some... Good pointers. Does anybody have any other pointers that they would like to, to add to my list? <laughs> Stephen J <Jay> is here. <laughs> yeah, I hate Brian. Well, I'm, I'm glad Brian got him a job that he likes, but I wish it would have been at a different... Well, I guess he could have watched me if I'd have done it earlier today. Oh, yeah, that would be good, except for, you know, we're old school, Janet. 
keep it up with all that time. I mean, I'm kicking and screaming. I, I just had Timmy to download me something called TikTok. I really ain't crazy about it, but it does seem to put a smile on your face. It must, they must love cat videos. Because I'll bet you in the two days, I've probably watched, skim through 50 of the TikTok things. And probably 35 of them was about cats. Cute cats, but still about cats. <laughs> so, I guess that's a, a, a thing for another um, video. Because it's so hard to get from somebody knowing a lot about that stuff and picking it up from the beginning. From when Facebook was there and it was always on it. Like Timmy knows all that stuff. Um, I don't know Instagram that well. I need to get into that. Facebook. YouTube, I, could, I, I think I got YouTube down a little bit. But, yes, I know, Stephen. It's a Chinese intel collection. But you know what? Our government ain't much better. So, this is what I say about the whole nine yards. I, if you like it, you like it. TikTok is only a... A program, I think, yes, they get intel off of the kids and the stuff. So, you know, if you don't want your kids to watch it, don't. But don't get into all that other stuff. If you're not doing anything that somebody shouldn't be doing, they ain't going to find anything out about you except for you're boring as crap. That's from somebody who has had a whole day's worth of looking at TikTok. And I probably won't look no more. It was just funny that there was that many cat videos. I guess maybe somebody likes cats. So now I'm going to go on to my project. Christy, what's the difference in that and Facebook? Or YouTube? I was sitting in the bathroom going to figure out what I was going to fix Timmy for dinner. And I decided I was going to do baked potatoes, and pork chops. Honest truth. Come out of the bathroom and went to get me a recipe off of YouTube. What was the first thing that come up when I hit the search bar? Baked potatoes and pork chops. And I didn't even get it all out. So you can't tell me that the, even our government and all that stuff isn't having fun. So don't do anything crazy. But don't Live in fear is what I'm saying. Just don't live in fear. Yeah, I mean, look what I, I, the only thing I said about it when I come out was they knew about the baked potatoes and pork chops, but they didn't know I was live and, and did an update on the phone. Or maybe they did. I did the update anyway. Who knows? Don't worry about it. God's got it. to a more fun project. This is what I'm going to be using for Shayla's birthday party. I bought two big plates like this. It's called the Shore Living Design at Dollar Tree. $1.25. Beautiful big plate. Beautiful. And then I bought a bowl. Still the same design. Same Shore Living. Same everything. So what I want to do is I want to try to peel off this as much of this should already had that off of there. Anyway. And then I'm going to take the... Yeah, this is called E6000. It's just the glue that you, you glue uh, plates and... Oh, I know what it is. This is one of the candle holders also at the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this E6000 on here. And I'm going to put the hot glue. Don't put the hot glue on top of the E6000. It won't stay. You need the E6000 for a permanent hold. And you need the hot glue for an immediate hold. And just hold it down there for a second or two. It's, um, what I'm doing 
is Christy always makes us a really nice um, cheese ball. Absolutely delicious. So I've got the stuff for her to make it with this year, or this time. So I wanted to get something really nice to display it in. So now we've got the A6000, we've got the, the uh, hot glue on it. So now it's together. So then I'm going to take this end of it and put me another thing of E6000 on. And make sure you leave you a little space for your hot glue. And th for this you have a really nice serving platter. You could put dips and chip. You could do whatever you wanted. Now, I have to be really careful and hope I'm getting that in the center. Chris, what do you think about this for your... What did I say? What do you think about this for your uh, cheese ball and your crackers? It's hard to tell what I said, sis. I did mean baby shower, though. There is one. Now, the other one that I'm going to do, and all I did with the uh, candlestick guys here in the middle, I just painted it white. This one is another little teeny tiny base that originally it's green. I did not paint the inside of that white because you're not going to see it. Because I'm going to stick it on there just like I did the other candlestick. With the E6000. Our, our theme is going to be, uh, our colors are blue, white, and red. And I'm going to turn this one upside down, hopefully in the center of this one. Because this one, I'm going to have Mandy set her cupcakes on. She's making cupcakes and Chrissy's making a cake. And then here we're just going to do the same thing on the top. E E6000 is a very strong glue that will hold really really well and then like I said the hot glue is simply for an immediate hold y'all probably saying you're putting it on there crooked and I probably am So, for basically $5, I now have this beautiful display for cracker, for uh, dip and chips. And, whoops, that one I did. Oh, I didn't take the tag off of it. No wonder it didn't stay. Well. Hot glue kept the tag down. Let's see if it does any good about getting the rest of this down there. Put it right back on top of it. It's like two layers of a napkin. If you don't get that last, that two layers separated, you don't have the napkin down. Okay. There we go. Now, this one's going to be for the cupcakes, and this one for the dip. And now they match. They'll match the colors. And eat, like I said, they're each $1.25 at Dollar Tree Store. I just thought they would be cute. So, anybody? Oh, <laughs> Janet's ready to eat. Yeah, we're going to have some, some really good food, I'm hoping, if everything goes well. Where do you get the beach plates at? Um, at Dollar Tree over in Fayetteville. 
You get them at Fayetteville or Oak Hill or Somersville. It's called the Shore Living Design. They've got all kind of beach stuff. All kind. They've got the plates, the saucers, the bowls, the, the uh, cups. You can have your whole setup for uh, the springtime in, in or summer in beach stuff if you wanted. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, that's for the cheese ball press. So I thought, I don't know whether, I think your cheese ball will be small enough to fit in there. If not, maybe we can make two smaller ones. Oh, yeah. So, food's what you come for. Food in the games. And, and to watch whoever's getting the presents soak in the presents. That's always a fun thing about a party. So, Yes, uh, yeah, they were over there yesterday when I was over there, Linda. And I know they got them still in Somersville. They got plenty of them in Somersville. Uh, and, and either place in Fayetteville or Oak Hill at the Dollar Tree store will have the shore living design. And they keep putting out more and more and more. A lot of it is just little crafty stuff, but they also throw in really nice candles, uh, candlesticks. They put in the plates and all that other stuff that goes with that. They've got lander. They've got all kinds of stuff in the shore living design. So if you wanted to decorate for, you know, take a, a, your kitchen and turn it into a beach theme, now would be the time to do it. Because shore living is out probably until July. And then they start putting up their fall stuff. But, yeah, shore living is a new thing that they did. Started... Last year, I think, I found it first time up in the, where the Family Dollar and the Dollar Tree store are together in, um, Raynell. I, that's the first one I had ever been into. And they had all kind of shore living stuff up there. And I'm sure they will this year, too. Uh, it's, Dollar Tree is like any place else. It has, if you see it in one store, doesn't necessarily mean it's in another one. <coughs> but there's still lots of things that you can find. So, I hope you have luck finding them, Linda K. All right, guys. Well, it's been 27 minutes. I'm going to, if somebody doesn't have another question. Yeah, we could make two small ones, put one back and put it in there. And then I could have one for later. <laughs> I really like TJ's cheese balls. They're really good. I think I got maybe a teaspoonful out of the last one she made at Easter. So, of course, but we did only make a half a, a half a batch because we had so much food. But it was still very good. Well, let me put my lid back on my E6000. This is a well-used E6000 thing. I think I might have to get me another one. I'm getting pretty close to the end, and it's it's almost like super glue. If anybody's ever had super glue and accidentally got it on your fingers. This, but this will come out. All you got to do is put this with some uh, hand sanitizer, and it comes right off. It ain't like super glue. You have to wait for time to peel it off your fingers. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you all had a good visit with me this time. I uh, uh, have enjoyed coming up with these things. I was going to make these anyway for Shayla's party. Uh, and I thought, well, I'll just do this on my West Virginia Wednesday since I do a couple of crafts on here anyway. So I thought I would do these, showcase them. Uh, I'm really excited. I, I like the party, if anybody knows. But we'll, we'll have to do something similar when, when we do uh, uh, more stuff. I mean, I just don't see that you could go wrong with these for serving platters or whatever. The only thing you would have with them is storage afterwards. Is finding you someplace that you can store them to keep them. Which right now, cleaning up my house in the 23 and 23, I have a spot perfectly in mind. So, I'll be able to keep these two for another party. Because blue, you can pretty much put blue in, in just about any party. It can go for 4th of July. It can go for Memorial Day. It can go all the way up to Labor Day. So, and the beach theme could go all summer long. So, we could probably use this, something like this at Hanny's birthday. 
All right. All right, guys. Um, I'll look at all these comments. I'm trying to see as many as I can as I'm going, so I'm sure I have missed one or two. And if I have, I will send you a little comment on the after thing just so that you uh, you know that I read it. I, I enjoy all the comments. If you don't care, the ones of you that haven't already, just send me a, a like. Um, just press the like button before you leave. That way, um, Facebook knows that my content is good enough to have you come and see. And we're going to head on out of here. I've been up all day working with Tim before we had to go back to work. And I'm going to probably hit the bed early tonight. <laughs> so you all have a wonderful night. And we will see you next Thursday at 7. And I think I'm going to keep this West Virginia Wednesday at 7 every other Wednesday. When we get the website up and running, I'll put a calendar on. So everybody will be able to know when we're posting. And hopefully be able to put on there what we're going to be doing. So if you're interested in those things, you'll be able to watch us. All right, guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.